Prior to installing murals, wallpaper, or borders, always inspect the material to make sure it is what you have ordered. If you have multiple packages, make sure the pattern number and run number are the same on each roll or segment. If you are installing a border at the ceiling line, find the most inconspicuous corner of the room. This is usually the inside corner above the room entrance door. This will be your ending point or kill point. Most likely, you will have a mismatch where you end, which is why you want an inconspicuous corner. You will start at the kill point and work your way around the room in whichever direction you feel comfortable, be it left to right or right to left. If you are installing the border at a lower height, you can most likely start against the side of a door frame and end at the other side. This applies to windows as well. For long walls, you will want to have an installation partner. The partner will make the installation easier since someone can hold the border while the other person is applying it to the wall and smoothing it out. Now unroll the border. Find the pattern repeat and decide which way is up. If the border is to be installed at the ceiling line, just butt the border up to the ceiling. Otherwise, determine the height you want the border to be at, taking into consideration furniture placement and the width of the border. If you are not placing the border at the ceiling, take your level and make small, light pencil marks horizontally at the height you are planning to install the border. You should make the marks about two feet apart and one eighths of an inch below where the top of the border will go. This way, the top of the border will cover the pencil marks when installed. Measure the wall from your starting point to the next inside corner. Cut the border to the length, adding an inch to each end. This will give you extra trim to be wrapped into the inside corner and onto the adjoining wall. There are two methods for activating the paste on a pre-pasted border. We recommend using a roller. Fill the empty 5-gallon bucket with lukewarm water and dip the roller cover in. You may want to elevate the bucket by placing it on a stool or another bucket to bring it closer to your work table. Now lay the cut length of border face down on the table. Dip the roller into the water. Let the excess water drip off the roller into the bucket. And then apply a thin, even coat of water to the back of the border. Hold the border down with your free hand so it won't slide around or wrap itself around the roller cover. Make sure the edges are well coated. You can adjust the amount of water you use as you go. If the back is too soupy, cut the amount of water back. If it's too dry, apply more water. Once the water has been applied, fold the length of border in half, taking care not to crease it. Pull any remaining lengths of border up onto the table and repeat the pasting process. Fold that length in half as well, kneading the ends together. Loosely roll the border and let it relax or book for three minutes. Take the border to the wall after booking it. Unroll it and place it at the starting point or against the door or window frame starting point. Work your way down the wall toward the next inside corner, smoothing the border out with your hands as you go. Be sure and stay on your level line marks. Once you have placed the border on the wall and smoothed it out with your hands, go back to the middle of the wall. With your plastic smoother, apply light even pressure 
and smooth the border to the wall, working from the middle of the wall to each end, one at a time. Make sure the edges are firmly pasted down. Crease the border into the inside corner opposite your starting point. Allow the excess to wrap onto the adjoining wall. Trim off the excess, leaving about an eighth of an inch onto the adjoining wall. Wash and dry the border as you work down the room so that the excess paste does not dry onto it. Measure the wall from the installed piece of the border to the next inside corner. Again, add an inch to both ends. Match the pattern at the inside corner and cut the next length. Paste the length of border as before and allow it to book for three minutes. Slide the new piece of border into the inside corner matching the pattern. Tuck it in using the plastic smoother. Continue with the border down the wall to the next inside corner as before. Smooth down. Wash off paste. And dry. Allow excess to wrap onto a joining corner and trim it back about an eighth of an inch. Trim off excess where patterns meet by placing a taping knife into the corner against the second installed piece of border. Take the snap knife or razor and gently run the blade against the taping knife. Do not use a lot of pressure. Repeat the steps around the room. For any outside corners, simply wrap the border around them, always staying on your level marks.